Soon after purchasing this chateau, we applied for planning to replace the existing wooden gates with wrought iron ones. The old gates were pretty, but they were narrow and we always found them too simple for the entrance of the chateau. It's taken us three years to find the right people for the job, but finally we met Jean-Paul, a stonemason who carved beautiful pillars, and Damien, a blacksmith who accepted the challenge of making a gate using 18th century techniques. After years of waiting, we got the call. Our gates are ready to be installed. Can't believe it, our gates have arrived. We've been waiting for this moment for three years. <laughs> You have to imagine each of these gates weighs about 400 kilograms. So that's why we need this massive machine to lift them up. Yeah, it's <laughs> Greece. Ziggy, come in, come in. What has Philip forgotten? These have to go onto the doors before we. Là, à mon avis, je ne sais pas si on va finir ce soir. Ouais. <rire> on verra, ouais. Là, il est un peu soulevé. Attendez. Oh, c'est bon. Je vais It's taken a while to measure, Philip. I measured twice. So you gave the measurements? Okay. Oh wow, look at this. Yeah, that's some serious uh, screws. screws.
There's another problem. We just figured out that's where the hinge goes to the gate pillar. And there might be a cable going from the interphone down. But I can't do anything about it. I don't know where the cable is. It was put in many months, months. ago. Yeah. If they have to drill to the cable, I don't know what to do. But then we don't have an interphone. Whoops. <laughs> Since our friend showed us how to find, how to metal detect, I'm completely like, uh, obsessed and looking. Oh, look. Oh, wow, what is it? A prehistoric snail shell. About two million years old. Well, good news is still the light is still here, no? And I'm extremely relieved because that would have been super annoying to fix that and probably not, not possible. So they dug as deep as they could because at the center of this pillar is reinforced concrete. So there's metal bars, iron bars inside, and obviously they can't go beyond that. But what they do, they will put these metal sticks in here and they will seal it with a chemical glue, a chemical adhesive. I'm done. My new jeans are still almost as new. And look, show me your jumper. Show me the arm. This is, this is a matter of clapping a cup. I just came in from outside. It's freezing there. Winter definitely has arrived in Normandy, but I have a good excuse to be here. I spent quite a long time to find a flight and I realized, I don't know if you have the same experience, if you look for a flight and you find one and then you think about it and then you go back to the computer and you look again, the price has gone up. And that's really annoying and I find it's really, really cheeky from those companies because they, you know, you come back, they know how badly you want that flight 
and they raised the price. But I am smarter than them. So what I did, I used an app called Surfshark, which you need to protect your personal information online, and also happens to be this week's ad. Surfshark works on your device, whether it's a phone or a tablet or computer. You install it with a couple of clicks, and then you virtually change your device's location for the web pages you visit, which turns you into a virtually different person living somewhere else. It's called a VPN, a virtual private network service, and it's not only good to get good prices when you're shopping, it's also extremely important to use to protect you when you use online banking because it encrypts your data and protects it from hackers, which are a real threat, uh, particularly on a public Wi-Fi. And on a more entertaining note, it also allows you to access all your favorite content on streaming platforms when you're traveling, just as if you were at home. So if you care about online privacy and safety, check out Surfshark's VPN service. Click the link below and get an extra three months off using our promo code CHATEAU. First gate is in. Can't believe it. Whoa, it's heavy. Oh. It really was me who measured the gap in between the gates. Luckily, the bottom part of the gate, where no adjustments are possible, fits perfectly. It overlaps high up, but that's a matter of screwing the hinges in the right position. Because of the weight though, this is a tedious job, and we have to use a crane for each little adjustment. It takes us over an hour, but now it fits perfectly. Vous êtes satisfait Oui <rire> Vous avez raison, c'est magnifique. Et vous avez travaillé combien de mois pour... Euh, par où Combien de temps Il faut compter 15 jours à peu près. 15 jours pour un partage ouais, comme ça ouais, ouais, okay. 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 Ta -da. Ta -da. <laughs> I'm so happy. What do you think? I'm so happy too. I can't believe it. They look amazing. I think they look even better than I actually imagined. No? Definitely. I love the angle as well of the railings. I love that, 
you know, it's not completely straight. It just makes it kind of a little bit more inviting, I think. And I feel that if we didn't know, we could think that they, have, they are original gates that have just been restored. And I'm really glad that we decided to go for the full iron and not the iron tubes because it just has that weight to it. And that's what these would have been made out of originally. So it feels like it's really in keeping and respectful of the, the period of the chateau. I can't believe that this project has finally finished. It's been four years in the making. Without YouTube, we would never have been able to make a gate of this quality and gate posts of this quality. So it's thanks to you guys and especially thanks to our patrons who supported our project and our channel. I'm, I'm extremely pleased. High five. High five. Ziggy, high five. <laughs> Oh, there's one last thing, Philip. Can you show us how the gate opens automatically? Why don't we keep that for next week's vlog? So guys, this is a bit of a teaser for next week because we're gonna do probably the most crazy vlog we've ever done. And the key to understand what's gonna happen is in here. Let's see if somebody guesses what it could be. It's definitely going to be the most dangerous thing we've ever done here at the Chateau. What is it? Let me know in the comments what you think. 